2011, something happened in the nuclear industry called Fukushima incident. <laughs> so that kind of poured a yeah, bucket of cold ice on, on the big gigawatt class reactors. After that, there's been a big push for micro reactors, small module reactors. All these so-called advanced reactors, they're all 1950s, 60s, 70s designs. They've all been built and demonstrated in the past. Every reactor that's under development today is inherently safe. It means you're not relying on Billy pressing the button at the right time or the pump coming on. You're relying on the laws of physics, gravity, natural phenomena. If that goes away, you're in trouble. But when you have a fuel that has silicon carbide coating layers that kind of retains the fission products and doesn't melt, that is a key enabler of these passive designs. Fast forward, there's a few things happening. First, the big gigawatt class like water reactors, who wants to pay $20 billion? So these are the big things people are used to seeing in photos when they think of a nuclear That's reactor. That's right. The other thing that happened is there's the, the demand coming in from remote communities, but also you know, defense is strongly in there. You've got space for propulsion, and then AI comes in. That's why there's an incredible advanced reactor industry out there with a lot of private capital, very serious people. If you look at the advanced reactors, there's 70, 80% chance that they're using triso fuel instead of big concrete rebar dome in the pictures that you talk about or a big pressure vessel that blew up in Fukushima, you've got billions of these small ceramic pressure vessels. This is why a lot of these advanced reactor developers are using this fuel. I wanted to come in and actually deliver this fuel in, in industrial scale. I transitioned to this company called UltraSafe Nuclear. In Which one. is the best name. Don't worry, guys. Yeah. This is really safe. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so it was ultra safe nuclear. Yeah. yeah. Primarily backed by Richard Hall's Helms. He was a patriot. Ex CIA. Ex CIA. I mean, this whole yeah. story is, is bananas, man. We got a ex CIA. <laughs> An Iranian nuclear scientist, a Green Beret. <laughs>